Magic Kingdom has three different types of group masters, intensity masters, size masters, and speed masters. And we're gonna look at how these affect different fixtures in different ways now. So we're gonna to go to our layout one view, and we've already got pre-recorded from the previous video, a dimmer effect and a color effect. And we're just gonna store a normal static queue without an effect in as well. So we're gonna store a queue of our spots uh, located in green in our back position here. And we're gonna store that onto playback number eight. Let's just label that by setting a name on it, uh, Spots Green. So we're gonna first of all look at an intensity master. The quickest way of recording a group master or an intensity master in our case here is by simply selecting the group of lights that you'd like your master to be and not putting anything for those fixtures in the programmer. So don't locate them, don't touch any other attributes. So the only thing you've done is select the fixtures. If we look in our programmer window view levels, program is empty. You've not put anything in the programmer, you've just selected the fixtures. We're now gonna record that selection onto a playback. And because there's no attributes in the programmer, it's automatically turned this into an intensity master. You can see in the legend at the top here, it says IM for intensity master. This is not a standard queue. An intensity master doesn't hold any attribute values in it itself. It's a master for intensity for that selected group of fixtures. So think of it a little bit like a grandmaster fader, but only for that selected group of fixtures only. So if I bring that fader up, nothing happens. To activate your master, you must press the play button above the fader to activate the master. And you can see it now turns red in the legend to show me it's active. But you can see the fixtures don't come on. It holds no value. It's just like a grandmaster fader for those fixtures. So I need to have the intensity coming from elsewhere. So let's look at playback eight here. And now when I bring my intensity master down, you can see it has master control over those fixtures. And that affects both the programmer and playbacks as well. So I could go ahead, uh, bring down playback eight, grab my spots, locate, and use my intensity master to bring them down from the programmer. And it affects multiple different cues and playbacks as well. So here's my dimmer effect for them. And again, intensity master has control. Let's have a look at some of the setup behind the scenes on how that's configured and how that's working. If you triple press the select button or the S key above your playback three times quickly, you can go into the function tab here and you can see that it's set our Q stack as an intensity master. It's also set the group ID as group number one. And that's how our master intensity master is configured. We could change the group number. So if I wanted it to now be only for the spots on the left side it would be group number six. So I could come back to this window and I could change it to group number six reactivate the master by pressing play and you can now see as i bring down the fader it's only affecting group six the spots on the left now there are other ways of recording masters and that's by attribute filtering so if i want an intensity master and i don't want to have to have it group based i want it maybe just on a random selection of fixtures i could do it by attribute so in this case another way of recording an intensity master could be to select some fixtures that say the spots on the right put the attribute you wanted to control in the programmer, go and record a queue, clear the programmer. At this point, it's just a queue with some random intensity for the fixtures I want in there. Again, triple tap your select button under the function tab. This time, we're not using a group ID. We're filtering it by the attribute of the fixtures that's in our queue. And we're gonna say queue stack in the intensity master, yes. And you can see it now says I am in the legend again to show me it's an intensity master. It won't activate by bringing the fader up on its own. You have to press the play button. And now I've created an intensity master for the spots on the right hand side. Let's label it, set that I am spots. Right. And there's my intensity master legended labeled and working. To release an intensity master, it won't release when you bring the fader down. You have to select it by pressing the S button once and then pressing your release button over on this side. Now your intensity master is no longer active and having an effect over those fixtures. Let's take a look at size and speed masters. And these can be recorded in a very similar way. So a quick way of recording, say a size or a speed master, and size and speed masters have an effect over effects running on the fixture. They have no effect over just standard chases running and maybe if you've got a two-step chase, it's saying spots from the left side to the right side, they won't affect that, but they'll affect an effect. So if I've got my spots in a circle effect, 
like the effect I've got recorded on playback number 10 here, I can have a size and a speed master affecting that. Again, I'm going to select my spots and not put anything in the programmer. I'm now going to record and select on playback number three. And this is just duplicated and record another intensity master for that group of lights again. I'm going to triple tap my select button. Then I'm going to go to the function tab. And this time I'm going to change Q stack is an intensity master to no and set Q stack is a size master to yes. And you can see in the legend above, it now says SZM for size master. And in the same way, it won't activate by just bringing the fader up. You have to hit the play button. Once you've hit the play button, that master now becomes active. And you can see in the visualizer, I've got size control over effects on my spots. And that would affect any effects programmed in queues for those spots. That master will now take control over them. You've also got speed masters, and you can set these up in exactly the same way. Just like intensity masters, though, you could select a group, record to a playback, and I could change in the function tab for this one here, say, by triple clipping my select. I could change Q stack is a speed master to yes, but I'm going to show you uh, the other way of recording a master by tagging attributes, like we did for an intensity master. Layout one, going to select my spots, and this time I'm going to put in the programmer the attributes that I would like my master to control. So I'm just going to put the pan attribute in my programmer. And again, just to any value, doesn't matter what the value is, a random pan value, as long as it's active, I'm going to record that onto playback four. And again, at this point, it's just a queue with some random pan value for my spots. Triple tap my select button on the function, and I'm going to set Q stack is a speed master. Yes. Again, it now says SPM in the legend to show me it's a speed master. I hit the play button. And now as I bring that fader down, you can see because I only put pan in that queue, it's taken the pan speed to zero while the tilt speed is still running normally. If I put pan and tilt in there, it would have speed control over both the pan and tilt. So the whole effect on that fixture. As I bring it back up again, I can bring the pan control back in. If you're using the group based size and speed masters, like I've got on playback three here, you can choose your group attributes. So you could say for my size master, I want it to affect tilt only. And you'll notice every time you adjust the settings here, it releases your size master, so you have to reactivate it. Now, when I bring this one down, you can see it's size control over the tilt attributes. So the lights are just panning now. So that's size, speed, and intensity masters with Magic Q. In our next video, we're going to look at some more advanced playback options.